Yes, a lovely night for it in South Ayrshire, but since when has a spot of rain stopped us enjoying a bit of Friday night championship football? Early days in the most competitive league in the game, but already the stakes are high as Ayr want to avoid a four-point gap on Thistle, becoming seven just five games in. Warm exchange between the managers there. Seem to have the same jacket on as well, which is... Uh, as well, they're not up against each other on the field. Lee Bullen makes a couple of changes to the side that uh, lost at Arbroath in the last league game with Jamie Murphy and Mark McKenzie coming in as Aidan McGeary, as we've heard, drops out of the squad altogether and Paul Smith also makes way. Just Doolin hands a first start to Kieran Nguenya, the young left-back on loan from Aberdeen in place of the suspended Harry Milne and the only change from their last league outing the comprehensive 4-1 win at Morton a couple of weeks back Jamie Murphy hasn't featured since the opening league game against Morton but if he can stay fit he could be a really important signing for Air United Jack McMillan was Thistle's Player of the Year, outstanding in the playoffs with the opening goal in each of the semi-final games against the air, and will have to be watched closely tonight, you'd imagine. Billy Collum in charge of proceedings this evening. Visitors ready to get us underway. False start. Everyone very eager. And we'll try again. Air won the first meeting of the sides last season, 4-2 here. But it was the only win in the six games between the sides. Partick Thistle having the upper hand, winning four of the other five. Michael Stewart alongside me. How do you envisage this one going this evening? Well, like most of the games in the, uh, the championship, you could really make a case for any result here. It's, uh, it's obviously a very, very big game for for Air United after the great campaign they had last season, finishing second in the table eventually. Disappointing, obviously, in the playoffs to be so convincingly beaten off of uh, Partick Thistle, but we heard Lee Bullen before the game. It feels as if there are mitigating circumstances for the, the start of the season so far. For Partick Thistle, they want to get themselves right in the midst for that uh, that title, not just a playoff win. Well, it came so close last season, didn't it? To moving back up to the top flight within just seconds, really, of uh, getting the better of Ross County. And here they come in the early stages. And they've, they've turned the ball into the net inside the first couple of minutes. And no prizes for guessing who the man on the end of the ball in the six yard box was Brian Graham has Partick Thistle in front with a little over 60 seconds on the clock. What a start for Thistle. And I tell you, it's a great, well-worked goal from Partick Thistle. You can see down this left-hand side the interchange of Fitzpatrick and McEnroy. Brian Graham, exactly where you would want your number nine running in between the posts and getting the first touch on it, beating all the defenders. Quicker to react, but you see that lovely reverse ball from Aidan Fitzpatrick. You've got to ask questions, though, about the defence for me. Too easy. As soon as that ball has slipped down the inside channel from Fitzpatrick, Brian Graham's quicker to react. He's the one that's a really good surface at Somerset. No great surprise that he's been able to deal with the rain. It's Patrick showing McAllister a clean pair of heels. McEnroy helps it on to Lawless. Back it goes and should have been kept down by young Ben Stanway. Goes back on. When you're with a header, and this Patrick does an up oh, that's a very late challenge, and that's going to be the first. And booking in the game, not too many arguments coming there from Roy Silla, who was uh, very late on Fitzpatrick. In the world, and it will give United another opportunity. Jamie Murphy 
laying it back. And then there's a deflection in there, and that's a really good save from Jimmy Sneddon. Tell that's a great save from Sneddon. Oh, what a ball. Rose could be in at the other end, Rose is in. And it's another brilliant stop from Jimmy Sneddon. Well, he's been huge in keeping his side in front. What a pass that is from Logan Chalmers. Outside of the boot. Well, difficult to say definitively there, but he does look like he's onside to me. And Sneddon has another been forcing the play territorially getting the advantage but there's always the danger Fitzpatrick he'll come for Graham oh, oh, what a oh. save that is that's incredible Brian Graham cannot believe that Charlie Albertson has managed to divert that wide and I'll tell you the truth not can I that is absolutely in incredible Al. I mean I was just saying there's the danger because it's great play from Fitzpatrick and as that lands a good ball there from your head. Really like it. Lawless. Within shooting distance! Oh my goodness, Stevie Lawless! That is a peach! Swerving away from the diving Charlie Albinson. And maybe, just maybe, that is the goal that wins this for Patrick Thistle. Still a long time to go, but they have a two goal advantage. It's a ridiculously good strike from Lawless, but I tell you, again, it starts from the pass from Muirhead. He plays that pass with a bit of risk, cuts out two or three players, and then Lawless driving forward and unleashes that ferocious strike. On that occasion, Charlie Albinson's got no chance. Such pace and power on the strike, it's past the goalkeeper without him able to, to get a strong hand. Joseph Bryden with three goals to his name already this season. Looking to add to that. A chance for McKenzie. Charles. Played by Xander McKenzie. Nice touch into the path of Stanley. Now Graham. Bannigan for Lawless. Real United learned their lesson. Apparently not. Apparently not! Stevie Lawless puts the game beyond here. United surely now under the diving Charlie Albinson this time. And Stevie Lawless waltzes through the air back line and gives his side a three-goal advantage. I think you can safely say that that's game set and match now. Clinical from Patrick Thistle and Stevie Lawless here. You, you know he's going to want to try to get back onto that left foot. Our former Air United player and is going to come on to rub salt on their wounds. Tommy Adloy replacing Brian Graham. And Blair Alston also about to come on. I think uh, young Ben Stanley, who was heading off there to be replaced by Alston. Yeah, there's confirmation. Adeloy and Austin on for Stanway and Graham. And here's an early chance for Adeloy. What about that for an introduction? That's incredible. He keeps his celebration to a minimum against his former side, but that won't stop the Thistle fans. 
from rejoicing as their side once again at Somerset Park go nap 4-0. Gotta be honest, I thought he was offside as the ball was played over the top. Adeloy. Not particularly great defender, but you can actually see from that angle that not not at all. He's on. Not great defending, but a real calm, composed finish there from Adeloy. Just passes it in at the corner and sticks Party Thistle 4-0 up. What a fine evening's work for the team from Glasgow. It's been, a, as I said, when it was three, it, this is looked upon as a, a really good, strong away performance from Party Thistle. It wasn't a bad first touch, was it? Tommy Adloy on for a matter of seconds before he slotted home the fourth. Here's Amarty as Jamie Murphy looks for a consolation. And Jamie Snedden still alert. He's had much less to do in the second half. But what he did there was terrific. It's just more good, solid goalkeeping. I wouldn't say any of the saves have been unbelievable. They've all been really solid from the Patrick Thistle goalkeeper. Forward comes Amarty. You're backing off. Again, it just won't fall for Air United. Jammers. Away from Nguenya. Again, Snedden. In the right fight today. Surely better days ahead for Air United. Misery is at an end this evening. But Partick Thistle just so clinical, so professional. Tommy Adloy with the fourth and final goal for Crystal inside. Stevie Lawless with a double very similar in execution uh, to put the game beyond United after Brian Graham had given them a very early lead in the game and one from which they never looked back. It's a first clean sheet as well for Partick Thistle this season, and the fans will make the roads back up to Glasgow with uh, a large smile on their faces. Tommy Adloy scoring with his first touch seconds after coming on against his former side. It's rough perhaps on here, United, who gave a lot to the game, but just couldn't find a way past the excellent Jamie Snedden, you would have to say. Uh, he played a huge role in the victory for Partick Thistle as well. And ultimately, it's a really commanding performance, a commanding win for Thistle once again at Somerset Park. Five last time, four this time. Air United nil, Partick Thistle four.